don't need to know what the hell he doing. What you doing, son? What? What is that? What? What's going on? What? Why are you kicking? Is the ghost chasing you? If so, answer yes with your feet. <laughs> That's what's going on. Uh oh. What? What was? What? What? Are you fighting? Are you having a fight? What's going on? Huh? Karate kick somebody. You just kick them. Huh? You gonna tell me what the problem is? I don't know. He was. I don't know what that kicking was about. What happened? You stopped swimming in the water. What was you talking? Hello, you guys. Say hello. Am I say hello? You too. Say hello, everybody. Okay, you guys. Um, as you all know, I told you I was breastfeeding and all, and um, that hasn't been going so well. Um, latching on and all that, perfect. Exactly what I said from day one. Everything was perfect. Latching him on, everything. The problem is, is that I'm not, the milk is not coming out as much as it's supposed to. So, have I gave up on breastfeeding? Uh, no. Because, I mean, this is something that I wanted to do. I'm like, I'm, I'm older now, wiser. I wanted to keep going this time see the first time i tried to breastfeed i didn't know what i was doing and have no support wrong time of you know of where my mind state was you know going through a lot during that time so as of right now i got a lot of support you know i had a moment where i i gotta give him some formula that was just one time and his dad was like no no just try let's try again let's just try you know he tried to get me to try and try and try again and then he noticed that you know i'm not making enough it's coming out now and when I first got the pump, I heard and came home and started pumping. He does not cry unless if he is hungry. And he just sits there and chill. I really rested. I'm still giving him my breast. He's drinking more of my breast milk than formula, though. If he's not full off my milk, I give him some of the formula. I'm to the doctor, uh, and they told us that he's he's 100% good. They just want him to gain some more weight because he lost some weight from all that six pounds five ounces and he came out six pounds 14 ounces so you're looking at me <laughs> he's so well alert look at him so what are you looking at and the breastfeeding looks like looks like it's been doing me some justice my face doesn't look as full as it did from the last video you can see my neck again just a little bit I'm healing a little bit faster. Uh, the, everything is fine except for my uterus. It still hurts for me to walk, and I think I think it's hurting because it's trying. It's because I've been you know pumping and all that breastfeeding and stuff. You know, every time I would breastfeed, I'm actually fine. I'm just I need to get my strength back. I'm like really weak. Like my ha my hands is weak. It's like just doing the simple things. I'm I'm weak. So I need to get that back. I know I, I used to be a super girl, man. Strong girl. I don't for days. You hear that? That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, that's stomping. But we're noisy. Okay. Then my baby dad said, I can lay him down just like this and he won't, he will not cry. We can sit him down so mommy can eat. You gonna let me eat? Huh? Yeah, let me eat. I just got done giving him a photo shoot. He's one week old now. So, Momo's at school. She'll be getting out in an hour. And my mom's been taking care of that for me. It's just, I'm blessed. I'm really blessed. Not everybody can say their parents helped them or, you know, stuff like that. Because I hear too many stories about that, you know. You know, you have those parents that don't want to do nothing for you, and I have the parents that I have the parents that actually do things for me. Then I am blessed to have that. I don't know what I would do without my parents. Seriously, I'm so serious. Same goes for my boyfriend. Like I don't know what I would do without him too. It's just he do a lot for me too. I guess I'll come back with an update. If y'all wondering when I'm going to work out, when I, y'all, give me some time to rest. Dang, y'all. 
the way he looked at me. <laughs> Tell him. Say they didn't want me to work out already. My my honey don't, don't want me to jump back on that bandwagon for a little while. He's just so he's just so sensitive. I mean, he is. He's very start off slow. That's what I'll be doing. I might do some yoga in the house. Then I'll bump it up to, you know, Turbo Fire. I know that sounds like a lot, but, you know, Turbo Fire for me was like a soft workout that made me sweat. And I hate yoga, so I'm just letting y'all know I'm just probably take advantage of yoga for the first time. And, you know, that is, that's good strength in, in yoga. You can, get, you can strengthen up in, in yoga. So it's one thing I know. So I'll be starting off doing some yoga in the house, Turbo Fire, and headed towards insanity again. I'm just telling y'all my schedule, how I'm going to start things. And I'll be hitting the gym. I, I just canceled my gym membership from Planet Fitness because they don't have daycare there. And I refuse to go to a place, go to a place that doesn't have daycare. I don't want no excuses. I want to just get up and go. So uh, maybe I get a, got me a membership at the Y, which is perfect because while I'm in there working out, my daughter can either be in a program or just be doing something productive while I'm working out. If daddy go to work, I don't want him going in the daycare at this age, no. I just refuse. Other than that, daddy will be keeping him till he's old enough to be in the daycare. Are you hungry again? His little, his little fuss is cute too. Ooh, what's that? Well, I guess I'll give you some more milk cause you look like you want some more. All right, you guys. Toilet.